it's late, I need a haircut, and a German airline has just ordered 16 Airbus A330 Neo aircraft. Why is this news? Because nobody orders these planes because they're decidedly unpopular. So for somebody to actually order this aircraft type is kind of a big deal. Let's jump into it. So breaking news out of Germany today, the German leisure liner Condor has ordered 16 Airbus A330-900 Neo aircraft. Now this is already fantastic news for this carrier that was running into all sorts of financial problems and has been bought out by 51% and also got state aid. They're now able to renew their fleet of aircraft. They currently operate Boeing 767 aircraft that are over 25 years old. The order has been placed for 16 Airbus A330-900 Neo aircraft. This is fantastic news for the airline because their current fleet of 15 Boeing 767s that they use to fly from Dusseldorf to Mallorca in Spain to get all the Germans to some sun for the summer are all over 25 years old. That's right, these aircraft that they're flying are so old that they've flown for countless other carriers and are really starting to get on in years. So to see this airline that has run into all sorts of financial problems to order new aircraft is such a fantastic thing. And they've ordered one of those aircraft types that don't get ordered very frequently. That's right, they've ordered the Airbus A330 Neo version. Now, this aircraft type is the spiritual successor to the Airbus A300 and the replacement of the current Airbus A330 series, which is the Dash 200 and Dash 300. And it's actually the Dash 300 in particular that we're talking about today. Now the Neo series hasn't had exactly the uptake that you have seen from, say that the orders were seen for the Boeing 777 series. And that's because of several different reasons. First of all, that's because the Neo actually isn't really that much of a technological leap compared to say its rival, the Boeing 787. This plane is just a upgraded version of the original A330 where it's got improved cabins, much more powerful and better engines. It doesn't actually have like any other real major differences such as bigger windows or new technology or a carbon fiber fuselage. It's actually sort of the uh, cheaper, just sort of stock standard upgrade more of a pickup truck than compared to a Tesla. That being said, this also means that it's much cheaper to buy and that it shares a type rating with the existing Airbus A330-300. So if you have pilots that can fly the Dash 300, they can upgrade to the Dash 900 Neo and just start flying that almost from day one. They do actually need to go do some training to understand how it may be different in some way and to be certified for that aircraft. But it's not a very long course. It's not like learning how to fly a whole new aircraft. Of course, this advantage for Condor isn't that apparent because, because they currently fly the Boeing 767. So they're going to have to hire new pilots or retrain their existing pilots to fly the new fleet. And I'm pretty sure it's going to be the latter because it would be breaking news if they were firing their entire workforce and replacing them with different people. So you're probably wondering exactly why this aircraft hasn't been picked up and we're not seeing more of these neon aircraft flying across the world. Well, first of all, many airlines have actually been buying the 787 instead of the A330 Neo. It's a whole long argument why one type is better than the other, but to suffice to say the 787 is relatively the superior aircraft, except when it comes to cost and when it comes to landing on shorter runways. And that's why we've seen airlines like Air Greenland order the A330 over the 787. The second reason why the A330 Neo hasn't been that popular is that many airlines are still operating the existing type and they're doing perfectly fine. There is actually a huge supply of Airbus A330 Neos on the market. So if they don't need a new aircraft, they're not exactly going to order them. And if they're going to order a new aircraft, they're going to order the Boeing 787 Dreamliner. But now you're probably thinking, what about all those airlines that need a wide body plane, but can't afford a brand new Boeing 787? Well, they can just buy a second hand Airbus A330 original. 
there are so many of those on the market that the second hand price is so much lower than a new price that Airbus has kind of priced itself out of the market and it's cannibalized their new sales. But that being said, they're still very confident that eventually people are going to want to upgrade to the new version as they retire these older aircraft. And that's what we're seeing here with Condor. Condor has gone for this new type, probably based on price as they're using taxpayer dollars. And that's why we're seeing Condor go with this aircraft. Additionally, it's also a political situation because Airbus is a European company and it's a German airline in Europe, so very likely that's why they've brought the plus this new Airbus A330neo is the first to meet the new regulatory standards of aircraft emissions. So Condor's kind of future-proofing itself in Europe to be able to fly without any problems. These new rules will come into effect in 2028, so airlines are going to have to either retool their existing aircraft or order stuff that complies. So considering Condor knows what's coming, they've made a smart choice here. And lastly, as Condor has said themselves, this aircraft has the quietest cabin for its size. Going on to say that customers can expect the highest level of comfort in a brand new business, premium economy, and economy class. So that's a hint there that we're gonna see a whole new cabin as well. And I for one, can't wait to see it. So thanks so much for tuning in for this late night session with yours truly to find out all about the latest news in the world of aviation. If you enjoyed this video today, then I suggest you jump on and subscribe and I'll learn to pronounce words a little bit better next time. Thanks for watching.